on to our Mensa Canada representative, and that is Brendan in grade six. Hello, judges and fellow students. My name is Brendan Alilovich, and today I will be sharing my business idea, Math Plus Kids. Description. My idea is to create a website that has online math videos for kindergarten all the way to grade eight that are purchasable. Each video has a subject and an intended grade. For example, there's a fraction video for grades one and two and a pre-algebra video for grades five to six. My videos can also be used if the student requires help in a math subject or for reviewing a topic. About me, I am in grade six and I enjoy mathematics. I also started a math club and I help other kids with math problems at school. I participate in many math contests, such as the Caribou Contest, the CNML, and the grade seven to eight Gauss Contest. Fraction video for grades one to two. Here's a clip of it. Welcome to Math Plus Kids. And today we will be talking about fractions for grades one and two. So you know the numbers one, two, three, and beyond, which are called the natural numbers. But what if I told you that there are numbers between the natural numbers? That's right. These numbers are called decimals or fractions. But today we will be talking about fractions. Let's say that we want to go to the pizza shop and we want one half of a pizza. This means that we want to cut the pizza into two pieces, but only receive one piece. If we want one third, then we have to cut the pizza into three pieces and receive one piece. If we want to keep, cut the pizza into one fourth, then we cut the pizza into four pieces and yet again receive one piece. It's simple. The bottom number, called the denominator, tells us how many pieces we need to cut. The top number, called the numerator, tells us how many of those pieces we want. Here is my worksheet for the grade three to four subtraction video. So there's two by two subtraction as well as word problems. Customers. My customers will probably be parents of the students or students from the targeted grades of the videos. However, students that are younger or older than the targeted grades are welcome to watch as nobody has to necessarily follow the indicated grades. The material cost would be the Wix.com core plan for website payments, which costs $25 monthly, a $19.30 per year fee for my domain on Wix.com, and a $5 per month fee for my RBC small business bank account. Pricing. For kindergarten to grade three, the price of a 20 minute video as well as four worksheets will be $5.99. For grades four to eight, the price of a 20 minute video and five worksheets will be $5.99 as well. The price of a 30 minute video and six worksheets will be $6.99. It is also important to note that Mathless Kids will only accept email money transfers, which means that credit card transactions are not accepted. Expected profit. Suppose that 10 students come onto my website in one month. Five of them are from kindergarten to grade three and another five are from grade four to grade eight. If all of the younger students pick the 20 minute option, then the profit from them is five times 5.99, which equals $29.95. If three of the older students pick the 20 minute option as well, then the profit from them is three times 5.99, which equals $17.97. If two of the older students pick the 30 minute option, then the profit from them is two times 6.99, which equals $13.98. $29.95 plus $17.97 plus $13.98 equals $61.90. The core plan for my website payments is $25 monthly. The three-year domain cost is $19.30 yearly. So you can divide that by 12 to get the monthly fee, which is about $1.61 per month. 
The RBC Small Business Bank account is $5 per month, and all of these expenses total $31.61, which is my monthly costs. If you subtract that from $61.90, then you get $30.29, which is my total profit per month. Marketing. For my marketing, I decided to create a Scratch project about the benefits of mathless kids. Scratch is a coding website and a social media platform for kids. This is where many kids will learn about my website and services. Now, I will temporarily exit the PowerPoint to show my Scratch presentation. I am also intending to create a Facebook page for my services, as well as to make announcements at school. I will also create a YouTube channel about Math Plus Kids. Why Math Plus Kids? In 2019, the, the Premier of Ontario, Doug Ford, said that the Ontario math scores are declining. He also said that the grade six scores in Ontario are the worst in the entirety of Canada. The COVID-19 pandemic has also interfered with math education. Mathless kids can help students get back on track with entertaining videos. The videos are also excellent because they are made by a kid intended for kids. Many people know that kids have a tendency to listen to other kids instead of adults. Parents need help too. Many parents are searching for online math courses to help their kids with the subject. Math Plus Kids is perfect because it is affordable and convenient, and the videos can be watched or uploaded anytime. Long-term plans. To expand my business, I plan to offer 20 <coughs> an hour tutoring services and to employ two people. I will also add free math video games to bring more popularity to my service. Thank you for listening. What a demonstration. Thank you, Brendan. First, we'll go to Raj. Brendan, fantastic job. You covered almost every angle. I will speak just for myself, and I know my fellow judges would say this almost the same thing. You covered every vantage point. You thought about a perfect market where the entire with it premier spoke that this is what we need to do and you picked on something right where the market is and which required as well your presentation covered every aspect of the need requirement the market your marketing strategy you know your your platform for you know your online platform where your prospective uh you know subscribers have proper access to it I'm speechless, basically fantastic. It's like something is already in oppression. Thank you. And uh, okay, and number one, okay, now just one of the questions that they may have, again, since you've covered everything, is are you intending just for the GTA market? Are you looking cross province? How do you intend to go across borders? Well, I would say at first, maybe we just, um my my mathless kids will only like stay within like Ontario, but maybe as it grows in popularity, um, as the marketing plan starts to kick in, it'll uh, spread to Canada, the United States, and perhaps even the world. I I remember when I was growing up, this is a long time ago, we had what were they called ICS International Correspondence Schools. 
and this is how basically you just reminded me of something right that is where people wanted to study and they didn't have access but then these are the schools that we would sign online to get our certifications and you know learn more and answer and knowledge so i think all in all it's fantastic it's excellent i wish you you know what you've covered everything professionally it's like you're already in business wish you all the best thank you I think you've got a fan of your business here, Brendan. Great start. Thank you for those kind words, Raj. Next, we'll go to Jennifer. First off, excellent job. The enthusiasm was very, very obvious. It looks to me like you have thought of everything, covered all your bases. What I want to know is, are there any areas of your product that you are nervous about in terms of uh, reaching all the audience that you hope to reach. And if there isn't any, that's fine too. Why I'm asking is because you've put a tremendous amount of work into it and covered a lot of bases. But when you sit back, are there any parts of it that you're a little nervous about? Um, no, not really about, uh, although like about my, um, scratch project, scratch isn't really for like younger, really younger kids. So a lot of people from like, I'd say kindergarten to grade two might not be able to get onto scratch and might not be able to be informed by it. Um, as well on uh, social media websites because uh, many older kids um, go on to social media websites. So I'm kind of concerned of if like the uh, younger kids um, might be informed of mathless kids, yeah. Well, thank you for that because one of the things of, of being a good entrepreneur is you have to be able to know and appreciate where something may be weak or needing a little bit more attention and how to address that should it arise. So a little bit of introspection is always good. Great job, fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Yes, those are some great points to think about, Brendan. Next, we'll go to Brad. I love your presentation engaging well spoken well thought of uh, in the content my question is uh, do you have quizzes built right into it as they're going along at the end of each video do you have a quiz for them to ensure understanding um i actually didn't plan i actually didn't think of that before but uh, i actually might add add a quiz onto that for my video uh like i said before um to for my long-term plans i might add like some math uh, video games and maybe some of those games could be like trivia games um about a certain subject like subtraction multiplication fractions etc yep i think that's great i think that's something to incorporate in so they watch the video and then multiple choice you don't even have to have it complicated where what they've just watched the video on, there's a couple of questions to ensure understanding. They unlock the next video by doing that if you wanted to have it in more of a course setting. And the other thing was, you missed one marketing element that I think is just perfect for you, and that is tutoring companies. Companies that are already having people studying math after school that parents are paying for, you could you do a subscription to a tutoring company so that they could just be able to use this and have an authorized license to be able to use. So however many computers they want to use, they would be their fee. Have you thought of using and reaching out to them? Well, uh, so I actually like, uh, I actually go to an extracurricular math program um, and I might uh, add a subscription to them as well as other extracurricular math programs, uh, yeah. Because I think it's really engaging. I, I, you're really good at it. The other point I'm going to make is make a YouTube station because uh, you're so engaging that I think literally what you do now, for even if you don't pursue this as a business, you should have a YouTube channel dedicated to doing math on its own. Because remember, that can monetize itself and you can get very wealthy because you have that personality that is engaging and you're knowledgeable and passionate, deeply passionate about what you're talking about, 
dude, I would probably tune in myself just because you're that engaging. Like, it's fantastic. Thank you for the suggestion. I would totally agree that genuine passion is palpable. Thank you for that very helpful insight, Brad, and great responses on the spot, Brendan.